Okay, welcome back to part two of this series where we are covering the chapter of radioactivity for O level physics. Now, in this part, we are going to continue our discussion about those alpha, beta, and gamma radiations that we introduced in the previous part. Now, if you remember, we called them ionizing radiations. What does that mean? Why are we calling them ionizing radiations? If you look at the word carefully, you can see that it contains another word called ion. And you must be familiar with what an ion is. An ion is a charged atom. So atom is basically neutral. Usually atom is neutral because it has equal number of protons and equal number of electrons. Therefore, it will have no charge on it. Overall, the charge will cancel out. But if an atom loses an electron, then it will be left with a positive charge. And if it gains an electron, obviously, then it will become negatively charged. So these radiations, these alpha, beta, and gamma radiations, they basically have energy. And they have enough energy to actually remove electrons from the atoms that come in their path. So if alpha radiation is traveling through the air, it will come in contact with the particles of air and it will ionize them and it will, it will knock the electrons out of them. If beta radiation is traveling through your body, it will come in contact with the particles, the atoms inside your body and it will cause them to become ions and those ions, this ionization process is basically what makes these radiations so dangerous because they can make changes to the atoms. Now, there are two other ionizing radiations, but they are not nuclear radiations. Those two radiations are ultraviolet and X-rays. These are both electromagnetic waves that you have probably studied in a previous chapter of EM waves. And if you also remember, gamma waves are also electromagnetic waves. But X-rays and ultraviolet, do, uh, ultraviolet rays do not come out of the radioactive nucleus. Hence, we don't call them nuclear radiations, but we do call them ionizing because they also have enough energy sometimes to ionize the atoms. So in total, you have five ionizing radiations. You have alpha, you have beta, you have gamma, these are all nuclear radiations. They come out of the radioactive nuclei. But you also have UV rays and you have X-rays. And they are not nuclear radiations. And we will not be covering them in this topic. We will be taking a look at alpha, beta and gamma radiations uh, in part 3 of this video. That's it. I'll see you in the next part.